Yep. And Nate, you have 2015, right? Yeah. So you got the right, you were locked out, you got the right page number. <laughs> okay. Now you want to tab this, you want to tab this safety, just put safety under construction, even though it's called safeguards. It's another safety chapter. Make it easy to remember that way. You know this chapter pretty good, Renato? Yep. What do you know? What can you find? Let's see. Uh, how, how we can put them in? Chap uh, safety. Safety. Chap safety. Yeah. Okay. Everybody got the tabs this week anyway? or I do. It doesn't matter. You can, like I say, you can always put a paper in if you don't have the tabs to mark it. Or you can just write it down on a paper on the side. Chapter 30, uh, chapter 33, Safeguards Under Construction. Tab it. So well, let's, we're going to go over that quickly and mark it up for the stuff that comes up on the exam that's out of this chapter. Let's see, is it in the study sheet? In the study outline. <laughs> All right, let's just let's test how quick uh, Renato knows it better. So let's see if I was asked a question. It said, "How how deep must I remove the stumps and roots?" Two inches. Huh? 12 inches. You found it? Yeah. <coughs> so let's do the qu how the question looks like on the exam. He already said he found it, so. Un curso, tengo un curso en internet. Lo malo yeah, es que no, hay, no, hay, no, same, no tiene a quién preguntarle, no tiene que consultarle. Usted solo sigue lo que le están diciendo ahí y sin entender. So here's solo, my, uh, solo sigue lo, lo que le dicen. Here's my question. Did you already get the answer, everybody? What do we look for? We look for keywords, right? And we already know we're in section um, 33, right? What page yeah. number is that in 2018? What page number? 607. He's, you, what, what year book 15. You? My oh, 15. Oh, 15 I think is 291? 591. 591. 591. And then 607 in 2018, if you have that book. Yeah, give him the section. Section 3304.1, I think. 3304.1, yep. 3304.1. Four, one. Are the section the same? Yeah, the section is the same. I just checked it. Yeah, they always uh, they, they don't change that too often. Mm -hmm. they, they do it for, even the 2009 is the same section. They just move things around. All right. So which one? Uh, which one uh, did you say it was the answer? Let's make sure everybody gets to it and then highlight right. it. Yeah. If we get another answer choice. Huh? I was. I know. I was just going to leave that. Because <laughs> one of them it makes it even easier. I. <laughs> You want to be perfect. Oh, it's in the 33. Huh? Yeah, the section is 33, 
Excavation. You got that Nate too? You know you know that one from way back? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I get on, I get for under there. Ah, see. Twelve inches. Anybody else? Milton, what you got? Not less than twelve. The twelve. Twelve inches. Anybody else? Twelve inches. Twelve inches. All right. So All right. So hold on, see. Yeah. So what do we do now? We already found that. What do we do? We found the answer. We light it. Highlight it, thank Highlight you. It. And what do we do in the index? In we write down the page. We write down the page if you can find it in the index. So I'll try to find it in the index. Roots and stumps. I, I don't think it's in the index, but um, you can also write it in if you, just in case. Like in the bottom of your index, you can put stumps and roots, and that'll make it easier for you to get it on the exam. Here, the best can also do this, see? The last page. You can, you know, put some keywords and put the page, page numbers in it. You know, so when you, you know, get familiar with this, when you see on the exam, you just, you know, go to the back of the book and then you find it. Well, I'm going to give you I'm, uh, next, maybe this week, but I'm going to give you a listing to put all those things. We'll, we'll copy out your back of your book later. Remember, we already they already did a few of them mm -hmm. just yeah. to get it started and get the idea. I did but, some uh, with them as well too. Yeah. And then you we'll have get a, you have a list that, that when you finally have that that full list in the back of your book, you're going to be able to do the exam a lot easier. Mm -hmm. You made up a full list. Then? I yeah, that makes it way easier. I told you there's an end game if you just have a if you just have a perfect. Uh, what, which one is that? Uh, yeah, send it over now. I'll go over it. Over it over over that one was very basic, like all the other ones were, but I could go over it. Yeah, but those are like common, you know, common questions. So. About the uh, stumps and roots? How would you look it up, right? What's the name? What's the section it came under? And what's that section called? Sideware. Sideware. Safety. Oh. oh. So look in the back. Go and look in the back and look on the site work and see if there's anything about stumps and stumps or roots. And it might be just written as. Uh, I think it's even written as more generally. Uh, it might be vegetated material. You got your IBC right there? Yes, I do. I'll go through it with them. I got to suffer too. I got to do this stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you find it? Yeah, but yeah. who it just was. Says sidewalk, but I'm just stop, right? oh, I hope I yeah, it's very thin. We're now getting into things that don't show up in the index. So, what I do on this point is that's again what Mar we were, uh, Renato was just talking about. I go to my back page. I want to write in roots and stumps. Mm -hmm. I'll make it, I'll fix, I'll make a, on that, you've already been filling that blank page. I'll put roots and stumps and I'll just put the page number <coughs> and the section R3301 where, where it is. Because with this, this index is not perfect. We're now moving up a notch. Before we were giving you all questions, you could depend on the index. Are we going to write it down? Yeah, why not? Write it in the back of your book. That's what I'm saying. Write it now. Root. Stumps and roots. stumps. Depth. Okay. Write it all you want to. Let's do the little kid in the face and I'm going to start man. Huh? You're a little kid. Yeah, sight work. It doesn't give you much. No. I could also write it in sight work. Which page is sight work? Well, it's section 3304. Yeah, Did you find it? Tough. Excavation is tough. Like, it's hard to find an index. I don't think it's in there. You just got to know 
Seven. That question is in um, safety or you have to guess mm -hmm. it's in the um, soils and foundation block. Well, we're trying to find a way. We're making them a section so they, you know, you don't have to memorize because now we get into things that are too hard to memorize. Right. Yeah. And we have a special index that we're making. You can write it to the side for now and fill it in when you in your blank pages. Mm -hmm. I'll let you look these up as we go to be easier. Yeah, to do what? What? El proceso, porque aquí tengo... All right. Yeah, but here, no, no aparece en el índice, escriba usted y le escribe ahí en qué página está. Why would, with that question, would make me go to the IBC book for that? Yo lo hice aquí en R. To be honest with you, just knowing the question, because by right, you should know, it could be in the IRC, the IBC, but I just know based on muscle memory and seeing it so often, like, there's no rhyme or reason, and I had big problems with that one as well, too, because I felt that it could be in the IRC, the IBC, but I just know based on muscle memory and seeing it so often, like, there's no rhyme or reason, and I had big problems with that that it could also be a residential question as well too. Because um it should be in the residential IBC, but you don't find it in the um in the R the IRC. The IRC. I could double check. Let me double check. I could be wrong. Well if we don't have the exam in front of us. They yeah. usually should say how deep must I remove stumps and uh, roots on a commercial job site. Right. To be fair. But you don't always get that. You're right about that. Yeah well, I didn't well I didn't know like you know what I mean? I, I was trying to figure out like how I was no, right. And it is another add that one. No, I know. I added it into the question, but he's going to look it up if you have that question. Now, uh, sure, sure. are we all good on that one, though? Do we make it oh, our nice. special, our special uh, thing in the back of the book, our special index? Yeah, Sometimes it's good just to write it on a side paper, and then we'll figure it out. How? Here's the next question. How high, offense? How high does offense? How high does offense? Have to be around a building site. Five feet. Uh, I can tell you that's wrong, but you do, it's okay. You took a guess. <laughs> I don't. I don't think it's eight feet. <laughs> Let's look it up. Where are we going to find it in that chapter? Chapter thirty-three. It's not easy, but now I can look up fence. Take a look, see if you got site work, fence, anything. You can see if you get in the index first. I doubt it very much. Here's what happens too. Now we're getting away from sometimes. Huh? There is fences in there? Yeah, yeah. but it doesn't have a big use you want. Um, uh, permits. Oh, so uh, it's about the uh, one work one exempt one. from the permission. Yeah. yeah, that would... See, it doesn't help you with no. fences. The key word is the big one is building site. Now, fences uh, can be the same as a construction railing or no? No? Yes. No. No, no, no. no, no, no. They, they call that. Uh, yeah, it's in that area, but let's say, now let's use site, our keyword. Let's try with site. Sometimes the keywords, sometimes there's no keyword in a question. They do that on purpose. We're moving up a notch, though. Now we're looking at these, and we don't, if we try our keyword and we went to site, What does it tell us? It just it's tells like us go to chapter 33. Mm -hmm. I know. It talks about like. Well, that's okay. Safety. We're going to get around it. It talks about safety. Site work. Yeah. yeah. If it said in the question, the safety oh, fence. Well, I know, yeah, but you know, if it, if it does a fence around the building site, you know, so a fence is to protect pedestrians, right? Well, so yeah. Construction yeah. railings? That one throws you off. No, the, that's what it shows in the uh, in the index, right? Yeah. Well, that's the only thing I could find that even seemed like fence. Yeah. Barriers. Let's just go to chapter 33 and look. Oh, that's barriers what, shall not be less oh. than eight feet in height and shall be placed on the side of the walkway nearest the construction. Mm. Yeah, and they call it a barrier too, and they make. Yeah. Well, is that? You, it is. That's the answer. That's the, it's eight foot. Says you got to do it around there. 
Yeah. All right, so let's oh, but your, your, uh, your uh, answers, your options here are inches. Really? <laughs> that, that's why Good I was catch. keep looking and looking. Good catch. Good catch. I just copied it from the other one. Okay. So oh. that's only, what page do you find it? Yeah. Um, don't go by page now, just go by section because we all have. Section 3306. Yeah, 3306.4. It's a. Uh, Right. I saw no, that one before. Point five. Yeah. <coughs> I know barriers they're talking about. You know the construction says when you walk around and they have the um the barriers up to protect the pedestrians as they walk and they make all of that. That's what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. oh, that's covered that's the next section, I think. Yeah, that's a covered one though, but they're talking about the fences. You know the temporary fences as you walk? Like you think about a construction site like downtown Boston yeah, yeah, as you yeah. walk, so those are the eight feet. But the cover, I think, covered is us is um, eight as well too. That's the height of a covered wall. Right. So, just so I'm, I'm clear on this, right? The barriers. That's like the. That's the same thing as the as the chain link fence that I have to put around the site. That's right. Yeah. Right. Right before I put the foundation in, that chain link fence I have to rent and put around the place. Yes. That's a temporary Same one. Thing, right? Yeah, that's the temporary one. So the covered is um that fence over there. Let's go to the yes, one now. Yes. The fence outside? Yes. That's the fence, right? Exactly. And then the covered is like when you have um, um a walkway. I remember in Quincy we had that, that, that walkway. Yeah. And then you walk and you have to put up the lights and everything for the pedestrians and all that. We'll do that in a minute then. Okay, there we go. Because I, I just don't want to get too confused, right? right? I get ahead of myself. So that's all right. Yeah. No, you're doing good. It's okay, but you tell us we always look at where we're going. So now we move. <laughs> so now Mario's back here. The Super Mario right here. Okay, so now we can you has everybody found it? Where it is? Tell no, tell no. them uh, what section it is. No, 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 the real the real thing to think about when you see these questions on the exam and they don't tell you really where to go, commercial, residential, is to really think, is this a safety issue? And right. if you know it's either, if you think about it as a safety issue, because a fence is a safety issue, you know you're going to either go to OSHA or this Chapter 33. But you're going to have this written in the back of your book again. Right, mm -hmm. that's why I got it, like, like safety, uh, yeah. to safety, safety chapter, cha safety ch uh, yeah. chapter 33. Yeah, that, that's it. And they, they, they take you to it. There it is. So now here's another variation of that question that shows up in that chapter. How high does a fence have to be around an excavation? I don't know. you got to look it up. So now you're going to look in that chapter 33. Now you could look for excavation. In your, can you look to see if you get excavation in the IBC? He's on his, he's on his cell phone, this guy. <laughs> I can do it my eyes. Yeah, that's all right. You're good. I just gave the book over to you. I know. I know. Um, excavation. Mm. Excavation. Now we're digging a hole. Yep. Uh, sure. We're in. We're in our building site. We got our eight foot yeah. fence. But we're digging a hole in our building site. Oh yeah. Really, an excavation anywhere this works for too, but even if it was outside. But it's in that chapter. The answer. Mm-hmm. It is. What do you got? 3303. Oh, it's 3306.9. All right, so let's stop there. He looked in the back of his book under excavation. This time we lucked out.
a keyword worked. Actually, I did not. You didn't? Oh, that's why I want you to check. Oh, I'm sorry. I just hold that. Hold that. I just know where to go. Oh, wait. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I, um, we are good. We go to excavation, yeah. grading, and grinding. Go to page 671. I thought it was, but my memory's never perfect. No, no, you're good. Page 671. And the biggest thing I would add with excavations, there's two sections you could actually look at. If you can't find it in chapter 33, and I know I'm getting ahead of myself, just put a footnote, chapter 18. We'll get back to that. Okay, but they don't have any of the safety stuff in chapter No, 18. they do not. No. no, they do not. So what does it say? Excavation what? It says excavation, grading, and fill. And that tells you to go to chapter 31. That's page up. 671. 671. One minute, one minute. Does it tell you chapter 33? Yeah, it does. It does? Yeah. Yeah, it says 33 or 4. Yeah, it does. All right. So a lot of the times, and the biggest thing with the index, sometimes it gets you in the general area, and you have to try to look around. That's true. That is 100%. But what it says? It has two sections in it. Yeah. All right, how high does the fence have to be around an excavation? This says... Adjacent excavations, every excavation on a site located five feet or less from the street shall be put to the barrier not less than six feet. Mm -hmm. Ah, there yeah. you go. Mm -hmm. The rule changed. You see, you got it. So, the answer is what? Six, six feet. Six feet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To that question, that's the answer to that question. Right? Yeah. It's around an excavation, not around a construction site. Right? All right, yeah. So now let everybody know, let everybody know where the, where'd you find that? 3306.9. All right, and we'll highlight it. 33. 3306.9. Can you read a little bit more, Nate? Pass that. Every excavation on a site located five feet or less from the street lot line shall be enclosed with the barrier not less than six feet in height. We are located more than five feet from the street lot line. A barrier shall be erected where required by the building official. So that that's Barriers what shall be of adequate strength to resist wind pressure as specified in chapter 16. Perfect. So you got to be careful um, um, if they ask you that question, more or less, because they could ask you both ways. Yeah, about the fence. Yeah. Now, here's no, you have to put the fence up anyway, but it says he tells you where to put it, right? Exactly. That's what that says. Exactly. Well, the height too yeah. is di different. Okay. So it's just to remember, there's oh. a six foot height. So see, I'll be sending you out this cheat sheet that has the notes. I think a lot of you already got it. See, stump, stumps and roots, twelve inches deep. Uh, walkways. We're going to look at that in a minute. Let's see. Because there's one more question, I'll let you call. I'll let you print it in a minute. But there it was, the two right there on the top. There it is. For the site must be eight feet. For an excavation must be six. And then then I'll break it down into notes so you can memorize. Some of these are good for memorization too. You won't have to look them up again because we talked about it in class, which is the good news. Now, uh, let me take that away. Don't look anywhere else. <laughs> now, on the excavation, there's another thing. Who do I have to notify before doing an excav excavation? This comes up on the exam. It always is. It's always there. It's, it's always there? Well, it's always, well, I'll be retaking the exam next month. Really? Yeah. yeah. Why? Because I want to know the new answers Good. on the exam. I'll let would these guys know. Would they allow you to? Yes, I have to let my uh, license lapse. And I'm eligible to take the exam again. Okay. I've been doing this for too many years. If I fail it, I'm in deep trouble. Right. I'm not going to let you know when I do we it. We know you're ready when you walk in. It could always happen. It could always happen. I should have shut my mouth. Yeah. Uh, That's what happens when you get two. Who do I need to notify? Can we work together? Ah, you got it. We're going to have to do, I'll be doing like the, the baseball thing. Two down. Two. <laughs> yes, I know, actually, in the real world, this was probably easy. But, um, Who do I need to notify? Yeah. yeah. Who do I need to notify before, uh, I'll say, digging and excavation? <laughs> Can you find that answer in there? Okay. 
This would be under that excavation and no, probably notification. That's a hard one to find. You know where it is? Digging maybe? Well, it's still in that ex. It's right there in the excavation uh, section. So, so I'll put. The